It's a good way to close out a pretty good series and a nice bounce back after coming up just a bit short last night. Yeah, it was a good way to finish the series. I think, you know, Sonny kind of came out from the get-go and kind of set the tone and uh, just really threw the ball well. Didn't give up any free bases. Uh, felt like he was kind of command uh, all game. And then obviously Jax come in and Pagan and be able to have the shutout, um, you know, which was which was nice. Got the got the two big hits, uh, you know, really from Julian and and uh, the add on from Polanco. And, you know, like I said, Sonny uh, pitched well. We played pretty good defense behind him and and uh, nice way to finish up the, the trip. But Sonny mentioned the defense uh, and how it kind of jump-started him after an odd morning when you don't know if the game's going to start on time. How locked in and how focused um, were your guys or how good of a job did they do getting ready when it was not really a certain start time? Yeah, I think they uh, they did a great job. They're, they're pro. They kept asking, what are we hearing, what are we hearing? So as soon as we got word we're going to start on time, everybody kind of kicked it into gear. And they were preparing that way anyway. So they did a good job, and I think to – you know, Sonny's point, you know, from Stevenson and, um, you know, ran at, ran down a couple balls. I think the Benatendi ball and um, Farmer made some plays over at the corner. Julian um, uh, got tested a little bit at first, which was nice to see. So uh, just overall, good job. Is there anything in particular um, that you think helps Eddie generate opposite field power so well? I asked that to the hitting guys. Um, uh, maybe three or four days ago, and they just said the way he's built, kind of tight in the core, and um, they said from his like hip to to, to shoulder, uh, they said he when he turns, it just creates a ton of power. That's why you see a big majority of the balls he hit, kind of center left center, that um, you know kind of big opposite field power, and that seems to be kind of his sweet spot. When you're that close to the postseason, it's got to feel good to see one of your starters go that long. Yeah, it's, you know, I feel like Sonny's been doing it, you know, really all year. Him and Pablo have been going back and forth. I think, you know, both guys are certainly worthy of, uh, certainly worthy of Cy Young talk. And uh, they've just been outstanding. And, you know, Sonny uh, continued it again today. Let's say something about Sonny, too, that, you know, a couple of base runners on and then him and Inez and Andrew Vaughn, I think he faced them both times and got able to get both of them. They weren't only runners on. I felt like leadoff doubles or, you know, guys at second with no outs. And, uh, he finds a way to just slow it down, make pitches, and navigate to, uh, his way through it. So um, it's really great to, to, to have on your side. How about just the job the bullpen did today? And the way you guys have done with the bullpen like, the past couple of weeks. Yeah, um, obviously Jax and Pagan today. Uh, we've been using the guys quite a bit, and some of them are getting some new roles. You know, Barland uh, getting back there. Duran hadn't pitched a lot, really. Um, you know, in the last week or so, Theo Barr has been outstanding. So I think the one thing it does for us, you know, Sonny goes seven innings. You only use two guys. And uh, we feel we should be fairly fresh for the most part going into Cincinnati.